welcome back to Layla Land. Today I am incredibly excited because I arrived home last night to find my Hooga box! <laughs> so happy! So obviously I have to film an opening because the last time I filmed opening my Hooga box, you all went crazy. Literally, I am not joking, the last Hooga Box opening video has had roughly 10 times more views than my other videos. I mean, that's ridiculous. Thank you, number one. Number two, I think that proves two things. It proves that Hooga is brilliant and Hooga Box is is brilliant also so thank you so much for all your enthusiasm and all of your views of the hygge box opening let's do another one can you see have you spotted i've got the cushion from the last hygge box beautiful so let's get into this one <laughs> again if you don't know what hygge is and you've been seeing this strange word spelt h-y-g-g-e uh, floating around the ether for the past however long it's basically a danish word that means to be cosy, to enjoy what's going on, enjoy the little things in life, to um, get a smelly candle on and a blanket round you and just cuddle up, indulge yourself. So go look it up, go and have a look what it means. It's pronounced hygge and it's spelt H-Y-G-G-E. <laughs> I can't open it. Okay, I'm in. Had to do my little excited clap there. Oh, and it's wrapped in my favourite colour. <laughs> Marvellous. Oh, I can't even rip tissue, I'm so excited. What is this? Oh, it's so cute. It's not for you, lady. Popular amongst Labradors too. Pull it down. Pull it. Oh, what a boy. See, he's interested now, isn't he? Oh, God, I actually don't know where to start. Oh, what's this? Okay. <laughs> Edible cookie dough. <laughs> Salted caramel flavour. Right, okay, so Paul and I both have really sweet tooths. Yesterday, we were having a conversation about salted caramel. Every time I hear the term salted caramel, I always go, ugh. He loves it, and I kind of can't wrap my head around the fact that you put salt with caramel. It just doesn't compute. So he's trying to tell me that this, it doesn't taste salty, but the salt brings out more of the caramel flavour. So what a lovely way to test his theory. Thank you, Hooga Box folk. Gonna have to open it, are they? Oh my God, that smells gorgeous. Yeah, that smells really good, actually. Can I have a bit? Can I? I can't really just stick my finger in it, can I? Oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. What's this? Oh, it's tea. Oh. I didn't work that out then. Oh, an independent company offering only the highest quality teas and blends for you to enjoy. Ah. Oh. oh, eucalyptus, fennel, peppermint and licorice. Again, I'm not a tea drinker, but I will try it. Um, my mum is a huge tea drinker, so if it's not for me, it will be for her, I'm sure. One thing I really love about Hooga Box, it was, it's, it's run by two ladies called Gabby and Sally, and they're down in Derbyshire, and as, as far as possible, they use local independent suppliers of all these products so it's not like these big corporations are just you know having the pockets lined even further but they support local businesses they support local independent traders they support local craftspeople which i think is really important um what is that uh seascape island apothecary uplift awake oil do you know what? I'm so excited! I'm actually, I love autumn and winter. I am very much an autumn and winter girl. I love myself a bobolat and a, a pair of welly bobs and stomping off through the leaves. But this year, for some reason, I am really, really more than usual looking forward to the sun coming back, to the plants coming back. Really, really looking forward to spring. I've got Pinterest boards all over the place about spring. And this is just making me feel like spring. There's like pastel colours and just brilliance. I'm sorry, I get so excited with hygge boxes. <laughs> Not normal. I don't care. Okay. Uh, what is it? Apply a small amount to the temples, wrists or under the nose. 
Uh, contains 100% natural essential oils of Jersey eucalyptus to stimulate the circulation, lime to energise the body, and lavender to refresh the senses. Oh, that sounds gorgeous! And what an amazing thing to just stick in your handbag. And when we're getting a bit tired, there is that point in the day, isn't there, where you could probably just do with a biscuit, a cup of tea, or a cup of hot chocolate, and a nap. No, just me. Okay, well, at those times, how brilliant would that be just to stick on... Have a couple of minutes, few deep breaths, relax for a minute, and then let, let it perk you up and off you go again for your day. That looks awesome. I'm really, really excited to try that. Oh, oh God, that's heavy. <laughs> I just went to pick this up thinking, oh, I love the little knitted item. And it's like, <laughs> this is really heavy. What is it? Oh. <laughs> that's so cute. It's another candle because I've used my last one. Thank you. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, look at a little thing of evolve. It's a little postcard that says, Welcome to a home of Hugo. That is definitely going to go up as in my hallway so you see it as soon as you walk into my house because my house is a home of Hugo. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Definitely on my little travels tomorrow. I'll get a little frame for this. I can't get over this. This is well cute. I love it. <laughs> Do you think it would stretch and go around my head? Nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you got me. What did I just say? What did I just say I would go and buy for my little for my little postcard? I said I would go. I said I would go and buy a frame. Well, they've saved me a job, haven't they? Oh, it's like they've thought of it. <laughs> that's good. Cool. Oh, that's a really nice quality as well. I like it. Yep, good quality. I like that. That'll go with anything, won't it? Let's face it. And I can pop my little welcome to a home of Hooga. Love it. Oh, gorgeous. I love this. Oh, what's this? Bath tea bag. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. It's a tea bag. That's got inside it dead sea salts, orange blossom tea, and calendula, uh, perfumed with only essential oils of mandarin, sweet orange, and bergamot for an uplifting experience. So you pop that in your bath as a little tea bag for your bum. See, I don't have a bath. We have two showers, both walking showers for Charlotte, really, because she's disabled and she finds it easier. She struggles to climb over into a bath. Paul's house doesn't have a bath either. He's just shower. And we both really do appreciate a nice soak in the bath. So I'm going to save that because whenever we go and stay somewhere, we have to have a look for somewhere with a bath. Oh, cute. Right, let's have a look. Because you get a little handwritten envelope with every box and a, a little newsletter to talk you through all the things in it. And just like I do with my glossy boxes, I oh, smack myself in the face. Just like I do with my glossy boxes, I pop it to the side. I like to be surprised by what's in the box and then I go back and read this. Cookie dough. So the cookie dough, this month's treat is super fudgy, gooey and sugar filled, perfect for the last month of winter. We love this raw or you can bake it into cookies. We've been baking cookies this week, so thank you, that'll go with that. We've been making ginger cookies this week, which have been yummy. It's a perfect swap from cold ice cream when sitting in front of a great movie. We've teamed up with the delicious cookie dough London to bring you a salted caramel flavour. So this is from cookie dough London. Um, obviously, all links to everything, including Hugo Box and where to subscribe, will be down in the description box. So that's lovely. And there's instructions on how to bake it if you want to bake it as well. Birdhouse tea. 
This is a special tea designed to help you breathe and relax. It has eucalyptus, peppermint, licorice leaf and fennel seeds to open up and calm the airways and digestive system. It was blended by the talented folks of the Birdhouse Tea Company in Sheffield. They're a small tea merchant who sells some really wonderful quality teas. And again, I will link to everybody down in the description. So please do go and have a look because we do need to support these independent businesses. Heart candle holder. <laughs> this to make me cry. I love this. These gorgeous stone candle holders are so hugo, we couldn't resist them. I can see why. We have added an eight hour tea light to bring you extra glow. Thank you. <laughs> Those are adorable. Seascape Awake Oil. This aromatic blend of natural essential oils is great to have on hand to give you a lift on a busy day. Just dab it on your wrists or neck to stimulate your senses and boost your mood. Our wonderful friends at Seascape have also set up an exclusive offer code for our subscribers valid until the 20th of March 2017. Uh, there's a code to use it. Can't tell ya, can I, unless you're subscribed and if you're subscribed you'll know it. Bath tea bag. Not for you, Leonard. And not for you. No, it's not. Uh, Sally loves to take baths at this time of year. They are relaxing and rejuvenating and a perfect way to wind down to sleep at the end of the day. We love these bags from tea... We love these bath tea bags from Wild Olive, a local soap maker here in Derbyshire. Uh, the aromas of citrus and bergamot are perfect for this season where citrus is all over the markets and we are able to use those flavours to brighten up our food. Wooden photo frame. We recently moved house. If you follow them on Twitter, you will have seen that. Do go and follow them on social media. They're such lovely people. We recently moved house and while we were packing, found ourselves spending a wonderful evening looking through old photos. It was lots of fun, brought back wonderful memories of family and friends, and we also learned a lot about each other. It occurred to us that this is a great Huga activity. It promotes togetherness, gratitude and presence, all important aspects of the Huga manifesto. We've included this frame to encourage you to go through your old photographs, either by yourself or with a friend or loved one, and put your favourite in the frame to display it in your home. Funnily enough, and again it's going to be another video, um, I am making a photo wall to go above and behind my bed so that when I'm asleep or when I'm snuggled up or whatever, I am surrounded by the happiest of my memories. Um, so I've just been going through loads of old photos and ordering lots of prints um, to go on the photo wall, which has actually been a really cool activity. Um, one of the things I enjoyed about it was um, there were a few pictures, and I'm going to try not to get upset, but obviously you all know my youngest daughter had a brain hemorrhage and um, that led on to her having a lot of strokes when she was seven. She was perfectly healthy and fine up to that moment. We knew nothing about anything that was wrong. Um, and exactly a month before she had her first stroke, I actually took us on our first family holiday to Disneyland. And going through all these photos, it was actually really nice to see us as a family just before life changed forever. Um, so that was really nice actually to sit with the girls and go through and, and that then sparked off some memories in Charlotte and she was saying oh do you remember this and do you remember that and I remember that ride and I remember we went there um, and obviously with brain, in, brain injuries memories are very difficult for her she, she doesn't remember a lot um, so it was really nice that that sparked those memories in her. Hooga image. We have made this exclusive Hooga postcard for you to send to someone you miss or to put in a frame and decorate your own house. It's a mug cosy! Why did I not know what that was? Oh, mug cosy. The ultimate moment of coziness is curled up with a hot drink in a comfy place. This mug cosy allows you to hold your drink firmly in your hands without discomfort. It will prolong the coziness by keeping your drink hot for longer. It was made especially for our Dance Deluxe box by Twin Knits based in York who hand make all their own designs. Oh, that's really cute. I love I was trying to fit it on my head. No, it's for a mug, Layla. <laughs> oh, I love it. Do you know, a lot of work goes into this. It really, really does. There's just two people who just love the concept of hygge and want to spread as much hygge as possible. They go out and source all of these things. They work out deals that us subscribers can get with these companies. They sit and package everything up by hand. They print off the newsletters. They write all the envelopes by hand for the newsletters and they get it all sent out to us. They're beautiful people to chat to on social media, so please do. So thank you, Gabby and Sally, for another beautiful Hooga box. I absolutely love it. It's made my week once again. 
and again you've hit the nail on the head with what is just perfect at this time of year for hygge and going into spring um, so I'm gonna go and enjoy all my goodies now and hygge my house up even more if you've liked this video give it a massive thumbs up go and click over there to subscribe to the channel so where you can get lots more videos just like this while you're subscribing make sure you click on the notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video click down here to see my last video and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!